Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting this little site together here using the free 2020 theme and the free Elementor theme builder. We've given it a fixed header up here so that when we scroll down the page, the header stays where it is. And we also gave it a custom footer down here. Now we had a great question and the question was, how do we make the actual header slimmer or change the height of the header? And it really is incredibly easy. I've got this open in an incognito tab here. And the reason for that is because we put the header as a fixed position, it tucks up a little bit underneath our admin bar when we're logged in, but visitors see the whole thing as you can see here. That's why I've got it open in the incognito tab. And follow along with this full series of this whole build from the playlist below. Okay, well, like I say, I've got it open in an incognito tab. I'm using Google Chrome here with a great inspector tool. So what I'm gonna do is right click on it, hit inspect. And here's the actual site header. As you can see, when I hover over it, it's turning blue. So we've got our header intersection here. If we look up the top there, they've got some padding and some margin. And all we want to do is make it skinnier. So we can probably give it a fixed height because they're justifying the content with a space between and they're aligning it to the center there. So if we just add whatever height we want it to be here, I imagine that's probably about 120, 150 pixels. Let's say height. Say we want it 100 pixels. 100 pixels. As you can see, that's changed it to 100 pixels. You can go even smaller than that. Bear in mind the size of your logo. Always put a smaller logo in there. Let's even make it 80 pixels. There we go, that's kind of nice and streamlined right there. Now, of course, when we actually refresh this page, that's going to revert to how it was, which was without this piece of code here. So to make this permanent, we need to write it into our theme. So I'm going to actually copy everything from the dot header there, which is the class name of it, and the height 80 picks. Now, if you wanted to, you copy all the way down to that closing curly bracket. I'm just going to take the new bit of code there and add my own curly bracket when we put it in the site. Control C to copy. Let's go back to our site and go back to our dashboard. I'm going to go down to appearance and then customize. And common to most WordPress themes, like I say, we're using the free 2020 theme here. At the bottom, you're going to find an additional CSS box where you can write code. And let's just drop this down a little bit. And we'll give this a bit of a title forward slash star star forward slash. Always a good idea to give it a title. If somebody comes in there behind you or you write a lot of code, it just makes it so much easier to find. So we'll say header height. Let's paste in that code we just copied from the browser there. And I'll put this code below the video. You're welcome to use it if you need to. And I need to put a closing curly bracket on the end of there. There we go. And I'll just drop it down. And as you can see, our header is now 80 pixels tall. And of course, if you wanted to, you can make it taller and bigger if you wanted to. So let's, let's make it 280, which will be quite huge. And you've got a huge one there. So like I, pay, like I say, put in whatever height you want there. I'm going to take mine back to 80. That is how to change the header size. So we created a sticky nav bar up there. And we've changed the size now. So I hope that's answered your question. Let's publish this. And let's open our site in an incognito tab again. And make sure everything's going to be correct. There we go, we've got an 80 pix header on there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. 
ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.